Hi, my name is John Joyce. Uh, so basically, where do I start? Uh, when I was at school, um, I started acting, taking drama. I uh, kind of liked the idea of you know developing a character, and I happily started to do a Christmas play as a father. I loved it, you know, at 16, I loved being that father figure, so you know, it kind of adapted. So I went to college, I did a film and TV course, I learned different sides of you know how to create ideas, the storyboards, the editing side, and how long things take. Um, and just mainly developing characters' ideas and building that reaction from an audience itself, you know, someone who's going to watch it, and, you know, you can make them scared, you know, a certain person with a hood, you know, that instant is an impression straight on a person. Um, so then I developed that and kept it going, and I mean, I, think I love acting, that's that's my thing, I love doing it, I love all the creative sides, I mean, even if it's just being a runner to get a cup of tea and run back, you know, I don't mind that, but, um, Mainly it's just being the character and having that interaction with the audience, you know, that feeling of, you know, creating a feeling or an emotion to somebody. Uh, that's what mainly I live for, that's what keeps me driven because then, you know, if you're going to believe in a character, you've got to believe as that character, you've got to think as that character. And that's the best thing about it. So the more in depth you can think of that character, the more impression you're going to bring out. Um, like I said, it just gives it into depth and it brings whoever you want to be you know you could be from an old person to a young person it can differ you know there's loads of possibilities and that's what mainly is my devotion to acting um so like i said i mean i hope to work with you soon you kind of get to meet me you know who i am you know how i interact but like the end thing is just basically having fun and enjoying the moment of you know just acting and that's it so hopefully I'll meet you soon and thank you for watching this video thank you Hi guys, we have like a slight tiny problem, um, I think I might have killed Chuck, I mean, he's just lying there, um, it's not really moving, uh, he's not really breathing, uh, and it's not because of me, you know, we've like, we went with Jimmy down at the bar, we were drinking and stuff, no, this is a bit more serious than that. Um, what it is, I mean, I was upstairs with Marissa on the rooftops, you know, I kind of get talking, she's having a good time, I'm having a good time, you guys are down here, um, we kind of got speaking, I tell her that she reminds me of Sandra Bullock, uh, I tell her I love Hope Floats and who knows they were the magic words, I mean, all I can say is, you know, she started taking her clothes off and, I mean, the roof tiles, they were shaking, I'm surprised you guys didn't hear, I mean, it was a very proud moment for me, um, I mean, I could take that one straight off the list, that's, that's the list complete, but, uh, that moment did get ruined quite quickly, uh, I'm not gonna lie, um, someone started punching me in the back, just over repetitively, you know, pounding I and mean, growling as well. It's like growling. I mean, who, who growls? So I obviously look to see who it is. Uh, and it's Chuck. And I'm thinking, Chuck, what's the problem? You know, I'm busy. And he's there like, uh, dude, you're kind of doing my girlfriend. And I'm there like, oh, God, no, this is, this is awkward. Um, so I simply just reply and I look into Marissa and I say, you're somebody's girlfriend? And she's uh, like, no, no, it's, it's Chuck. And I'm like, who, what is, who is Chuck? And it turns out, you didn't tell me this, did you guys? Chuck and Marissa are cousins. No, no one told me that, no. So I'm now physically in the middle of this. Uh, Chuck bursts into tears because he kind of has these guilty feelings with his cousin. You know, Marissa puts her clothes back on and she goes back stairs into the party. I mean, if you do see Marissa, just could you give her my number? But don't make me look needy because I'm not a needy guy. But yeah, so I'm still stuck up there with Marissa. She's, well, Marissa's gone downstairs all of a sudden. And I'm stuck there with Chuck. Chuck's there just crying away. You know, snot's going everywhere. I think he was sick once. I mean, have you ever seen a grown man cry? Like, I don't want to deal with grown men. I, don't, I can't deal with babies. Never mind a grown man. Um, so he wants to say he's going to kill himself and he's going to throw himself off the roof. And for a second, I thought, you know what? Just do it. You ruined my night. But I didn't. I'm not that kind of guy. You know, I just kind of say, you know, you're a nice guy. You may fire around the right girl, but just maybe not your cousin because that's wrong. You don't do that. Um, and then all of a sudden, he's, he's, he, he cracks a smile. So I'm thinking, yes, I've got him smiling. You know, he gives me a little manly knock. I give him a little manly shove, you know, he gives it again. But you know how Chuck looks slightly weighty? Well, he ain't exactly skinny, is he? You know, like he's got a bit of weight to him. Um, yeah, he's not that weighty because he kind of flew. But as I shoved him, he kind of flew off the roof. And that's what brings us to now. So there's a tiny little problem. And if someone could go check Chuck, that would be great because I'm just going to go.